it's amazing. I really, really can't believe it. Um, I came here like really hoping that I would get one medal of any colour and to come home with these babies is uh, amazing. <laughs> You know, 10,000 people, we've, we've never really experienced that amount of people before, especially with the horses, and I really didn't know how JP was going to react to that. Um, we've tried playing, like, uh, clips of clapping and cheering at home, but you can't really replicate that. So but going there and having the British crowd and the flags coming out, and, oh, it was just incredible, and I can't thank them enough. They, they've really made the games for me. I'm very superstitious, so I uh, the first day I compete, I have to kind of go through a process. So it's different for every competition, but if I do well the first day, I have to replicate the process for all the other days that I'm competing. And the opening ceremony night, me and my teammates uh, went out and got a McDonald's because we can't we couldn't actually go to the opening ceremony. So um, so we went into the village, got our McDonald's, and took it back to our rooms and was watching on TV. And I was competing the following morning, and. I I had a really big win uh, the first day. So, uh, so I was like, right, I've got to have McDonald's now <laughs> the night before I ride every day. Um, and it's worked. <laughs> I don't think anything will quite top a home games um, and the fact that it's my first Paralympic Games makes it even more special but um, but I'd definitely love to go to plenty more Paralympics um, obviously we've got Worlds and Europeans as well so uh, yeah hopefully a string of gold medals to come.